I'm Ben from Theory 168. I'm here to introduce my Perfect Zero CNC camera alignment system. I have a guide bushing camera in this Swiss machine that we're going to look at some of the tools that are on the game. First step is, is that we're going to install the camera into the guide bushing and lock it down. This is something I've already done. And then after that is complete, we're going to hook it up to the computer. From there, we're going to open up the software on our home page. The camera needs a reference point to be used to do the auto calibrate routine. In this case, we put a target into tool 14, and we're going to use that as our reference point as we rotate the guide bushing around. So I double click on the auto calibrate button and from there we're going to call up the game position of that tool. Okay. So I'm going to call up tool 14. Use the position of tool 14 on wherever that center of that tool is at. Okay. It's simply only looking at a reference point and it's storing that position of that reference point to save the theoretical center of the guide bird. After we pull up that position, we're going to install the target and move the target so it comes into focus on the computer. I'm going to use the mouse pad and drag it over the image and use it to bring the crosshairs right over the center of that board. It doesn't need to be exact, you just need to get it close. From there we're going to hit enter and it's going to start saving points from where it's viewing the image of that center of the target. At this point I want to rotate the guide bushing around 360 degrees to save all those points. After that is complete, we can hit Determine Center, and it's going to save the theoretical center line of the guide bushing. The next step is, is that we want to look at one of the tools that we're having an issue with. So we want to use the icon on the bottom of the screen called the Line Tool, and we're going to enter a little bit of information about that tool. So we're going to look at Tool 11, and we want to call that tool up, and now we're going to save the machine position of that tool. After you call this tool up, if it isn't in focus, at that point we're going to want to use the control knob in the back of the camera to bring this image into focus. we can do, not all tools are easy to see the center of the tool, so it might be easier to increase the radius of our target uh, image on our crosshairs, and then we'll align it that way. We can do that by adjusting the radius on the top of the screen.
from there, we can write down the machine position of where the tool was called up at. Our next step is that we want to manually move the machine and get the crosshairs in line perfectly with our center of our tool. So I'm going to go to manual and hand jog or hand wheel the axis itself so it's aligned perfectly. that we want to do is now we want to record that machine From there it's going to automatically calculate the difference in position from where we called the tool up to where now we have the tool when we visually align it with the crosshairs. Each tool can be saved from this point and we can go and view this from our desktop or right from the software on where that tool was uh, positioned at and what the difference is.